We've been talking about percentages, uh, percent concentration as a way of measuring how concentrated or dilute a solution is. The, the mass percent can be used as a conversion factor in calculations. And the key to this is, is thinking of mass percent as parts per hundred parts. So per cent. Cent refers to hundreds, right? A century is a hundred years. There's a hundred cents in a dollar. Centi is one one hundredth of, of welcome to our strange classroom here. Find, find a place. So per cent means per hundred. So grams of solute per hundred grams of solution. That's what percent means. So let's look at an example. How much sucrose in grams is contained in 355 milliliters of a soft drink containing 11.5% sucrose, assume a density of 1.04 grams. So 11.5%, what does that mean? Means parts per hundred parts. So 11.5% means 11.5 somethings per hundred somethings. In this case, grams would be a useful unit, but you could do pounds or kilograms or any unit that's convenient. So this is grams per 100 grams. Grams of solute, um, in this case glucose, my uh, iPad surface is covered with uh, kid juice, uh, you know, they, they exude, they sweat stickiness and uh, so I'm having issues here per hundred grams of solution and it squeaks it's just lovely okay so that is the conversion factor what are we trying to find here it's a question how much sucrose in grams okay so we want we want grams of sucrose I wrote glucose. Just shoot me now. Oh, it won't write. There. Sorry, it's a mess. Grams of sucrose. And then there's all these numbers hidden in here, aren't there? There's the 355 milliliters. There's the 12 ounces, in parentheses. Um, that's an English unit, and that's just in there to tell you what size the can is. It's just, we don't even need that at all. There's, there's the percentage, which I rewrote up at the top. And then there's this guy. So two of those numbers have per units, right? Grams per hundred grams, grams per milliliters. Those are conversion factors. The only one that doesn't have a per unit is this 355 milliliters. 355 milliliters of what? Soft drink. The soft drink is the solution. A soft drink, a soda, is water with stuff in it. Right? So that's the solution. And we want to find grams of sucrose. So from milliliters of solution, that this doesn't have milliliters of solution in it. That has grams of sucrose in it, though, right? So we could get to grams of sucrose if we had grams of solution. Yes? The equation on the top is what percent means. A percent concentration means whatever this number is, grams of solute per 100 grams of solution. OK, that's just what percent means. It's parts per 100 parts. So if we had grams of solution, we could get to grams of sucrose using the percent concentration. Yeah, then we have to. We have to somehow get from milliliters of solution to grams of 
that doesn't look like solution, but that's supposed to be solution. This relates grams to milliliters. That's the density of the solution. So we're gonna we're gonna we figured out our path and now we're gonna write in our unit. So this is milliliters of solution. And then we're gonna convert to grams. Okay, I'm just gonna pause and clean this screen. So let's see if this will write a little better now. Oops. Grams of not much solution. And then we want to get to grams of sucrose. So then we put in the units so they cancel out. We want to cancel milliliters of solution. And then down here we want grams of solution so that will cancel out. The percent gives us the relationship between grams of solute and grams of solution. That's this guy at the end here. So it's 11.5 grams of sucrose to 100 grams of solution. And then in the middle, this is the density that was given. Because by adding all that sugar to the water, it increases the density of the liquid. So it's 1.04 grams of solution to one milliliter of solution. I left my calculator way over here on the other side of this crazy room. For my YouTube friends, we are having class in a different room because the window in our classroom has shattered and they don't think it's safe to have students sitting under a broken window, which I guess I would have to agree with. 355 times 1.04 times 11.5 divided by 100. I was going to say that's a really big number. That's not right. Divided by 100. 42 Rounding to three sig figs, 42.5. So 42.5 grams of sugar. Is that a lot of sugar? Yeah, that's a lot of sugar. It's like, wow. 12 ounce can of soda, 42 grams of sugar. Any questions about the problem?